Hey everyone, welcome back to Alps Mustang Garage. Uh, today we're working on a 67 coupe front drum brakes. Uh, we're going to do a simple uh, wheel bearing pack, um, something that um, you know periodic maintenance thing on these cars. And if you've never done wheel bearings, they're pretty simple. But here's going to be a how-to on on how to get that started. So first things first, obviously we're going to pull the front wheel off. We're going to have a little cotter pin that we're going to pull out right there. Got this little retainer, comes right off. This nut usually is not too tight. So that's your that's your nut to kind of put the tension or the preload on the wheel bearing. So usually it takes just a little bit to break that free. If not, you know, with your hands you can usually get that right off. So pull that off. Gonna slide the drum off a little bit, and you're gonna get your your retainer and your outer wheel bearing is gonna come right off. Now you can pull your drum off. So from here, we're gonna pop the seal out, and then get the inner wheel bearing out. Uh, you cannot get this out without popping the seal out, but that's pretty easy to do. So let's move over here onto the ground. We got our drum on the ground. We have these little very simple. Uh, seal puller tools. You can get these at any AutoZone or O'Reilly's. Um, okay, and that just pops out like that. Now you can access your uh, inner bearing. So I have these little handy wheel bearing packers. These you can also get at AutoZone or O'Reilly. Once you're full of grease, put your wheel bearing in like that. Put your topper on and just kind of use your weight to push down on that sucker. Get some nice fresh grease packed in there. Sounds like somebody's here. Mm -hmm. Here's some nice fresh grease packed into there. So once you have your new or new bearing or repacked wheel bearing in there. I got a new seal because usually when you pull that seal out, you're going to destroy it. So, new seal. I got my seal installer kit here. Um, and you don't necessarily have to use a seal installer. You can just kind of lightly tap around it with a hammer. Also, can get it to install. But uh, I got one of these kits here. You can even get these actually from Harbor Freight. These are. Fairly nice uh, seal installer kits. Also, you can also install your, you know, wheel bearing races as well with this kit if you do new wheel bearings. So, put that on there. And then we're just gonna lightly tap her in. She's all the way down. I like to put a little bit of grease around the lip of the seal. Okay, so that is your inner bearing. And now, and now we can just simply do a repack here on your outer bearing. Good to go. Put a little new grease down inside the middle there. That definitely doesn't hurt. Also, 
also put a bunch of grease here on your spindle as well. Wheel bearing. Keep your plate. It's keyed, so it can only go on one way. Adjust your nut. Now to tighten these, I usually do it by feel. So I have some up and down movement here. I'm going to tighten this until I have no more play. Get to zero play. Then I'm going to go just a hair more. Just like that. Puts a little preload on that bearing, um, not too much. And now you can go road test it, put the reel back on, road test it, see how she sounds. Let's not forget our little keeper there. Cotter pins, I usually try to replace those if I can. So that keeps that from walking off of there on you. Get that cat back on. And that is how we do a wheel bearing pack on your front drum brakes. Thanks for watching.